So good morning students to uh, today we are going to see about unit 1 civic national symbols today we are going to learn about what are the natural uh, national symbols of india and the importance to protect them and what are the different uh, national festivals and how we are celebrating with joy so natural uh, national symbols first one is lotus the flower of india in 1950 they declared it as a national flower though it grows in muddy water it blows with a very beautiful and next to the national tree it is a banyan tree in 1950 they declared it and it is the symbol of pride and has many medicinal values next one uh, in 1973 they declared the tiger as the national animal and it is the largest cat species india has 70% of tiger population in the world and peacock in 1963 they declared it as a national bird and it is the native to asia and the only bird which has a tail and the elephant in 2010 it is the native to mainland asia and plays a critical role in maintaining the region's forest and in 2008 they declared the river ganges and it is a perennial river and many royal capital flourish in the bank of this particular river and the lactobacillus in 2012 they are very friendly bacteria they are major part of lactic and bacteria group and in the year 2010 they declared river dolphin and it is a reliable indicator of the health of the entire river ecosystem and it is the endangered species and in 1950 they declared mango uh, it is a rich source of vitamins a c and d and mainly cultivated in plains and this is the king cobra it is the world's largest venom snake and lives in the rainy forest and plains of india and now let us see what are the tamil nadu natural symbols uh, animal this is nilgiri tar and bad the emerald uh, dove and flower glorisa superba and the tree plum yar trees and let us see the other symbols of our country uh, that is mainly the national flag it is a tricolor uh, flag there are three colors are the same width and are arranged horizontally there is a saffron at the top represent the valor and the sacrifice and the green at the bottom which represent the fertility and prosperity and there is a white band in the between uh, represents the honesty peace and purity the ashoka chakra on the wheel is the navy blue represent the truth and peace our national flag's length and width proportion is 3 to 2 respectively and ashoka chakra has 24 spokes in it and what is the national emblem the four lions on the top of ashoka pillar at sarnath was chosen to be the our national emblem the national emblem was accepted on 26th january 1950 uh, the satyamay jayate has been inscribed at its bottom it means the truth along trumps the national emblem consists of two parts of the upper and lower parts in the upper parts uh, there are four lions uh, which are facing north south east and west uh, location and this is a circular pedestal and one can only see three lions at a time this is the beauty and the lo- lower part has an elephant a horse a bull and a lion the wheel of righteousness is placed between them this emblem is found at the top of Uh, government communication indian currency and passport etc and what is the national anthem janagana mana is our national anthem it is symbolizes the sovereignty and integrity of our nation this anthem was written by ravindranath tagore in bengali this was transcribed uh, in hindi and was accepted by constitution assembly on 24th january 1950 he is ravindranath tagore and he also written a uh, national anthem for bangladesh and sri lanka they are using the same song nowadays the rules to be observed while singing the anthem this anthem has to be sung at a duration of 52 seconds 
every one should stand erect while singing the national anthem one should understand the meaning while singing the anthem and another thing is national song what is the national song the song vande madram composed by banhin chandra satraji was a source of inspiration to the people of india in their struggle for freedom it has an equal status with janagana mana on 20 january 24 1950 the president dr rajendra prasad came up with a statement in the constitution assembly the song vande madram which has played a historic part in the struggle for indian freedom shall be honored equally with janagana mana and shall be equal status with it and what is the national pledge india is our country my country all indians are my brothers and sisters is our national pledge the pledge was written by uh, pedimari vengada subar rao in telugu and what is a national microorganism the curd which we consume every day is curd from the milk by a microorganism called lactobacillus delbergi this was accepted as one of our national microorganism in the year 2012 This organism makes the milk undergo a chemical reaction and changes the pro- protein content of milk. The cat is known for its digestive quality and cooling capacity. And what is the currency of India? The Indian currency is the Indian rupees. The currency is released by Sheikh Shah Sir in the 16th century as a rupiah. This rupiah has been transferred into rupees. The national symbol of rupee is this symbol. This was designed by Uday Kumar from Tamil Nadu in the year 2010. And what is the national calendar? During the region of uh, region of Emperor Kanishka, he began to follow a new calendar in the year 78 AD. During a leap year, it begins on the 21st uh, March. Our country follows this calendar. A famous astronomer Mehrnath Shah handed the calendar reformation committee on 22nd March 1957. and what are the national holidays and the important holidays independence day every year august 15 it is celebrated as as independence day to commemorate india's freedom from british rule this auspicious day is also marked as a birth of world biggest democracy uh, india one of the day on the day the india gained independence mahagavi bharathiyar's poem aaduvame palli paadome and it is sung on every all india radio at by TK Pattamal a famous singer of Carnatic music the prime minister unfurls the national flag on the independence day at the fred fort new delhi and another important day is republic day on 26th january 1950 india was declared as a democratic state every year in this date is uh, declared as an uh, republic day the constitution commences on 26th january 1950 On Republic Day, the President of India hoists the national flag at the Red Fort, New Delhi. And Gandhi Jayanti. This is the important day. The birth of Mahatma Gandhi, the father of our nation, was declared one of the national festival. It is on 22nd October, and in in, uh, in 2007, the United Nations declared October 2nd as the International Day of Nonviolence. This is an important honor for our. uh father and students please like my channel uh, like my video subscribe my channel and best of luck for your future thank you